ஹாய் காய்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு நம்ம கேபிஎஸ்சி அகாடமி கர்நாடக எக்கனாமிக் சர்வே வீடியோ சீரீஸ் ஸோ காய்ஸ் வி ஆர் டிஸ்கசிங் அபவுட் த எக்கனாமிக் இன்ஃப்ராஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஆஃப் கர்நாடக அண்ட் இன் த ப்ரெசென்ட் வீடியோ லெட் அஸ் டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் ரோட்ஸ் ட்ரான்ஸ்போர்ட் இன்ஃப்ராஸ்ட்ரக்சர் அண்ட் கம்யூனிகேஷன்ஸ் speaking about roads of karnataka the state road network consists of national highways state highways major district roads municipal roads and other roads including the village connectivity roads the road development works in the state is carried out by multiple agencies which include public works department local governments and its wings and the city corporations city municipal corporations etc the roads are maintained by the respective agencies in the state the average length of pwd roads per 100 square kilometer area is 40.07 kilometers the details of the road length in karnataka is presented in this table this graph presents the details of length of black top and cement concrete surface roads in karnataka The government of India Ministry of Surface Transport has prepared the road development plan which is being implemented from 2001 and it shall be implemented till 2021 In this road development plan the concept of primary secondary and tertiary road system has been introduced for the purpose of transport planning functional identification earmarking administrative jurisdiction and assigning priorities on a road network The primary road system consists of express highways and national highways. The secondary road system consists of the state highways, major district roads and the tertiary road system consists of other district roads and village roads. So the secondary road system and tertiary road system together are known as rural roads since they represent the links to the rural areas of the country. So these following points are used to fix the length of the road according to the road development plan. So in this road development plan road length is defined in terms of certain fixed and tangible objectives having due regard to the popular demands for better types of roads and these demands are specifically mentioned in these points. So as per the road development plan PWD initiated state highways development program for the improvement of strengthening the existing state highways based on these criterions In 1999 the Karnataka Road Development Corporation Limited was created as a state owned enterprise for the development of road infrastructure facilities in the state So at present this limited is taking up the development works of road infrastructure in karnataka also krdcl is implementing the karnataka state highways improvement project 2 and 3 to improve the rural communications the government of india is implementing the pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana about which we have already discussed in one of our previous videos in the similar lines of pradhan mantri gram sadak yojana in the state of karnataka we have chief minister gram sadak yojana or the mukhyamantri gramina raste abhivruddhi yojane also karnataka state rural development and panchayati raj department is implementing the namma grama namma raste yojane which involves laying of the rural roads in addition various initiatives are taken up through rdf works which is being funded by nabard there is a short note for you guys The funds provided under Chief Minister Gram Sadak Yojani in Karnataka will be allocated to Zilla Panchayats as per the Dr D M Nanjudappa Committee report for maintenance of rural roads. In addition, Karnataka state government is facing various issues and challenges. The road network in the state shows disparity in inter-district connectivity of national highways and state highways. This disparity in the connectivity needs to be set right based on the Dr Nanjunappa report on redressal of regional imbalances. Also rural connectivity is a key component in the overall development of the state. Rapid development of rural roads can have a multiplier effect on the overall growth of backward regions. Investment in roads has one of the 
largest impacts on the poverty alleviation and increase in the total factor productivity also around 29% of state highways and 82% of major district roads carriage way were this single lane to ease the traffic congestion most of the state highways and some of the major district roads need to be upgraded to two lane width in addition to accommodate the growing number of vehicles road have to be widened on the national highways and state highways speaking about innovations in the road sector of karnataka the planning and road asset management center is established to strengthen the planning programming and other mandated functions of the department the planning and road asset management center is responsible for all planning and programming functions related to road sector development and maintenance of road assets and will prepare the annual works program in a scientific way it is mandated that the annual works program shall be followed strictly in the selection of roads for development and the necessary government orders are issued already so this center at pwd level will function as the sector apex body for road sector policy planning and asset management matters so this uh, center is collecting various data and the data collected are compiled and analyzed in the karnataka road asset management system and the detailed annual works program is prepared for the core road network of the roads under the jurisdiction of the department the government has mandated through government order to prepare the work program and follow the same for the development of roads so in order to reduce the accidents as enunciated in karnataka road safety policy 2015 black spot rectification program is initiated as per the directions of the supreme court committee on road safety speaking about public transport facilities of karnataka karnataka state road transport corporation was established in 1961 to provide efficient adequate economic and well coordinated transport services to the commuters of karnataka the government of karnataka later decided to divide the corporation into four separate corporations on regional basis to fulfill the diverse needs of commuters through effective and efficient services accordingly KSRTC was bifurcated into Bengaluru Metropolitan Transport Corporation for Bengaluru city Northwestern Karnataka Road Transport Corporation for Northwestern districts of Karnataka and Northeastern Karnataka Road Transport Corporation for the Northeastern districts of Karnataka so after that since 2000 KSRTC has remained as an independent corporation being an independent corporation in addition of providing public transport ksrtc also takes up various other initiatives like it performs certain social obligations for example ksrtc has been issuing free passes for students till 10th standard out of which 25% concession to girl students studying in high schools is given also it takes up smoke emission checks of its buses as per karnataka guarantee of services to citizens act 2011 all the services related to ksrtc are implemented under sakala portal it is also taking up various worker benefit initiatives like providing intelligent transport system and electronic ticketing machine to its drivers and conductors speaking about bengaluru metropolitan transport corporation formerly known as bts that is bangalore transport service it is working in similar lines of ksrtc in addition it has taken up various innovative initiatives like induction of pink sarathi buses that is buses exclusively for women commuters also it is taking up light and heavy vehicle training and providing intelligent transport system for its bus drivers also there is a mobile application project which is launched to help the commuters where commuters can get the details of the buses they require similarly northwestern karnataka road transport corporation is functioning in northwestern karnataka region and one of the innovative idea of 
this corporation is the seva spandana software so the project on employee guarantee service was undertaken in the brand name of seva spandana to address the employee grievances proactively and timely it is working successfully similarly north eastern karnataka road transport corporation being established in 2000 is providing adequate efficient reliable and economically viable transport facility to the seven districts of north eastern karnataka which include kalburgi bidar yadgiri raichuru ballari koppala and vijayapura one of the innovative initiative of this corporation is the computerized audio video announcement system which is of a great use to the commuters continuing now let us study about the d devrajaras truck terminals limited so this limited was established in the year 1980 So the establishment is for benefit of lorry and truck transporters at national highways in Bangalore and other cities of the state and also avoid traffic congestion road accidents air pollution and providing facilities for loading and unloading the goods and providing infrastructure facilities to the beneficiaries in the similar lines of road transportation karnataka government is also working efficiently in improving the railway infrastructure and airport infrastructure to provide better communication facilities speaking about ports and inland water transport system of karnataka karnataka with a 300 km coastline has one major port and 12 minor ports so the major port that is the new mangalore port is managed by the central government whereas the minor ports are managed by the state government among the 12 minor ports karwar old mangalore ports have handled significant volumes of cargo in addition to provide better infrastructure facilities by developing state minor ports with private investment the state government formulated the karnataka minor port development policy 2014 in addition to improve the infrastructure in ports of karnataka karnataka maritime board was also set up in addition to all these initiatives central government is implementing the centrally sponsored coastal berth scheme so this scheme aims to provide to major non major ports and state governments efficient support to create infrastructures to promote movement of cargo and passengers by sea and national waterways so guys in the next video let us discuss about banking and finance sector of karnataka so guys we are concluding with our discussion before concluding here is a reminder in the description box you shall find the links to download the ebooks of namak apsc academy So guys thank you for watching if you like the video please like and subscribe namak apsc youtube channel for more queries contact us thank you again